Welcome to the Conmebol Cup America 2024 USA. We are here with the coach Emil Hagrinson and the player Casey Palmer of Jamaica National Team. Before the start, please remember it's not allowed to broadcast or record with any cell phone or any device. Remember that you can download the press conference using the QR available in the room. If you want to ask, please raise your hand and wait to be chosen for the microphone. Introduce yourself and the media you belong to. Question? Hola, buenas tardes. Juan Carlos Ibarrarán de W Radio. Eh, ¿Cómo los deja o qué piensan ustedes acerca de que para este partido México llega como, como favorito para, para llevarse este partido? Gracias. Hello, Coach Hamilton and Casey Palmer. My name is Valentina Peña. I'm from W Radio Colombia. Um, I have a question for you both. Uh, for the coach, many people in Colombia use the expression Cinderella, la Cenicienta, when they come to the less favorite team. Uh, but I personally do not think it's like that. What do you think is Jamaica's biggest weapon against a team like Mexico? And for Palmer, uh, Mexico's defense hasn't been really good in the last games. 4-2 against Uruguay, 3-2 eh, against Brazil. Um, how do you think you can break that defense? Thank you. First of all, I think um, we are pleased with how we are progressing as a team, not in a specific way. So we are just growing as a team uh, in, in, I think, all areas of the game. We are really lethal. We are fast players. We have individual skills in our team and we are getting more and more tactical as, as we progress as, as a unit play more games with each other etc so I think that is our strength now at the moment we are, a, we are an improving collective unit but with a lot of individual skills with a lot of speed in our team so that is, that is in my opinion our strengths playing against Mexico the powerhouse in our confederation um, I think we need to go back seven, eight years to find the latest win for Jamaica against Mexico. So they are the powerhouse of this of our confederation, and uh, on paper probably l more likely to win the game. But luckily for us, this game is not played on paper; it's played out there. Uh, and on the day, like Casey said before, on the day we just need to be good on the day and have a really good game to beat a team like Mexico. Yeah, I think for me, we have, we have many different weapons. Um, I think, like I said, we have a lot of pace in the team, but we also have a lot of players that can create individual moments and do individual brilliance to create openings. Like you said, they've had difficult moments defending against some big teams, against some top, top players. So we would have watched and we've done our analysis on what we think we can do to kind of break them down. So... Yeah, it goes back to that again, that we've got to turn up on the day and show them moments in the big moments that can be decisive to win off the game. Thank you. Hello, coach. My name is Moises Avila. I'm jean Uh I would like to know how did you manage the absence of uh, Bailey? At the beginning, he was considered in the main list, but now he's not. Uh, were you considering him, or you were, I mean, you had enough with, with, with the team you already had? 
And uh, the other question is about Mexico. Maybe this is not the best version of Mexico that we have seen in the last years. Uh, what is your opinion about uh, the team you're going to play with tomorrow? So we just like to focus on the players that we have. We're not thinking about the players we don't have. And we're really happy with the squad that is here. So we, we turn our focus and attention to our players here. And we're quite happy with the the team and uh, like we have said before individual talents in more or less all the all the position so there's a, there's a good depth now in the Jamaica team so happy with that Mexico will always be Mexico it's the same style of play no matter who is playing there's a little rotation yes in in the squad but I think the playing style will be the same they are aggressive they 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 are direct really Fast players, individual skilled players, so we need to be really compact if we want to get results. We need to be, on the day, perfect tactically if we, if we want to win Mexico tomorrow. <coughs> en español. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. ¿Ustedes creen que es una ventaja que México no haya convocado a jugadores como Guillermo Ochoa Henry Martin y Raúl Jiménez. Okay. Sí. ¿Ustedes creen que es una ventaja que México no haya convocado sus estrellas como Guillermo Ochoa, Henry Martin, Irving Lozano y Raúl Jiménez? No, we will have to see tomorrow. We will have to see tomorrow if it's uh, an advantage or not. Uh, Mexico has millions of football players to, to select from. Uh, they have really good league in Mexico. The players that are coming in are, are younger, mostly younger players. So probably thinking about recycling for the World Cup in 2022 as well, giving younger players a chance. So understandable that the, the coach would like to rotate, but I don't think it's an advantage. I don't think it is a disadvantage, not for us, but for Mexico. We'll see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Me gustaría preguntarle al coach, eh, gustaría preguntarle al coach si ha tenido la posibilidad de platicar con Michael Antonio acerca de Edson Álvarez, que es su compañero en el West Ham, y lo que puede influir Edson en el juego de la selección mexicana, si han hablado sobre alguna forma de, de detenerlo con el conocimiento que, que tienen ya de él, y a Casey sobre eh, su opinión sobre Santiago Jiménez, que podría ser titular mañana en el juego ante Jamaica. ¿Qué opina él eh, sobre Santiago como, como delantero y cómo lo han analizado? Well, like, like all the other players, we, we have been watching more or less every individual in this squad for the last few months. You know them quite well. There's not a weakness in this Mexican team. Not a weakness in this Mex and Mexican team. Uh, I'm not sure if my scouts talked to Antonio about him, but uh, I think we, we watch the English league quite a lot, so we know a lot about the players that are playing in England. Yeah, I think for me, like you said, um, about individual players, we kind of looked at the whole team and we know the strength of the individuals, like you mentioned with Alvarez, which a lot of us will watch the Premier League week in, week out. So we know there's a lot of strength in depth and Like the coach said before, there's a lot of options to pick from with Mexico. So whoever comes in, we know it's going to be a strong opponent and the, the style of play doesn't change. So we're prepared for whoever comes tomorrow. Buenas tardes. Solo quiero preguntarle, he estado viendo la lista. Es un Jamaica muy a la inglesa. Eh, pregunto eh, si me puede confirmar si es un Jamaica que, que juega a la inglesa. Well, you will have to wait and see what style we will play tomorrow. But yes, it's a lot of um, Jamaican players playing at the highest level. So it's a good for, for the national team, for the country, to, to be able to select players from a league like the, the English Premier League, the, the French League, uh, even Saudi. So, so it's, it's, it's a privilege to have players from Jamaica playing at the highest level. Uh, if we play an English style, I don't know, you know what an English style is. You saw the English national team play 
yesterday or the day before yesterday it was not a uh, especially nice style that they played so so let's hope we will be better at least on the english style they showed there in in español mariano sánchez del diario as la selección mexicana no llega en su mejor momento ya lo, lo decían viene de, de goleadas contra Uruguay y de partidos que, que no dejan un buen sabor de boca en la afición y en los medios. ¿Es esta la gran oportunidad de Jamaica para vencer a la selección mexicana en un torneo importante? Well, looking upon the opponent, Mexico has been playing uh, uh, the late, they, they, they lost against US, they lost against Brazil and Uruguay, no, Uruguay was maybe not the worst team to play against. It, so it's, it goes without saying they were playing against the top top teams in the world. And they were all good games, all hard fought games. So they come in here, you know, knowing exactly what they need to do. Uh, and I don't think losing against Brazil will take a lot of confidence away from Mexico. I don't believe so. So, yeah, Mexico will always play this uh, uh, similar style. Uh, like I said before, th their style is really direct, is really counter-attacking, individual skills, and fierce football, really fierce football. Good afternoon, coach, right here in the back. Alex Vanegas from Acción Centroamérica. Jamaica has become the team to beat now in the CONCACAF area. That given that you guys don't have enough infrastructure, you guys don't, don't have enough resources. And every time we hear from Central American teams when they failed, their first excuse is we don't have the resources. So how is Jamaica now one of the things to beat without half of the infrastructure or resources that Central America have in Jamaica is doing a lot better now? <laughs> the political one. Um, I think for us here as a squad, we don't kind of want to make any excuses for any of the past things, say like you say with the infrastructure, but we know what doing well can lead to and what success that can bring to the next generation of Jamaicans growing up with the finances that getting out the group or going as far as we can in every big tournament. We know that can bring in, that can affect the things that you mentioned with creating better facilities and stuff for the next generation. So I think that's kind of our focus and that's where our mind is. We can't kind of change previous, say, what you'd say, excuses of not having certain things in place, but we know, yeah, what change we can make. I think it's a collective thing as well from the boys, and I give them a big credit for coming from the league, like the Premier League, where everything is, you know, at your fingertips. Uh, and coming to Jamaica and doing the best from from the things we have. That's just a, a kind of a pact from them. We're going to do no matter what. We're going to do the best we can, even though the facilities and the, and the surroundings around us is, is not the same as they are used to. Of course, it's a little bit demotivational, and that's, that's the tricky part, but it's fantastic uh, mentality within the squad. You don't let th the outside things bother you. Focus on what we can do and only on things that we can do. We cannot control, you know, other things. So don't put the focus on that. I think that that is wonderful from the players just to come with that mindset when they come and play for Jamaica. Hi, Brown Panner with Barani Vision. Um, I had a question about mentality, but more looking on the pitch. You've just played two World Cup qualifiers where you're essentially favourites to to win those games, now you're going into a tournament where you're probably the underdogs looking at the three opponents in the group. So how do you work on that in the mentality of maybe going from what you might expect more of a possession game to then having to play on the back foot? Is that something you're looking at, you're working on? Does it come naturally because the players are, the players are used to adapting tactically to different games? Honestly, I think that, that has been Jamaica's problem in the past when they, where they should be superior. That has been kind of the problem to lose points against teams that on paper look easier to win uh, so we were just happy that in the world cup matches we played we, we came out victorious we, we had of course 
a lot of chances to score goals, but we didn't kind of convert them, and that was that was the thing why why we didn't win with a bigger margin than we did. But we won the games in the World Cup, and that's all all that matters. But you're correct. I think when when it's needed the most, they show up and they always deliver. Uh, and it's kind of now has been for the, at least since I came, we've been playing teams above us in the ranking more or less, and we've done quite well. I think we are closing uh, the gap between us and the biggest teams. If you look at the FIFA ranking or the CONCACAF ranking, we are always closing, closing, closing the gap. And hopefully one day we will we will be among the top four teams in, in the CONCACAF region. So we, we can avoid playing group stages, and etc. and go straight to, to semi-finals or quarter-finals. So that's, that's our aim. But I think we are, we are used to playing teams that, on paper, are, are better than us. We come into this tournament, the lowest ranked team, uh, out from, I think only Bolivia is below us in, in the ranking. So we come here as the non-favorites. Uh, and honestly, I just, I think that suits us. Yeah, I think for me, especially, I like going into the game as an underdog. I don't mind being, uh, the one that everyone thinks we're going to lose. People might go into the game tomorrow or people are watching the game thinking Mexico are going to dominate us. That's, for me, that's fine. Like, we know what we can do. We know what we're capable of and we're silently quiet, um, sorry, silently confident that we can come out victorious. ¿Qué tal? Eh, buenas tardes, Carlos Rodrigo Hernández de Fox Sports. La pregunta es para los dos. Yo quisiera eh, preguntarles ¿Qué virtudes tiene esta selección? ¿Qué fútbol vamos a ver para que ustedes puedan ser la sorpresa de esta Copa América? Muchas gracias. Well, it's certain traits that you always need to be successful in football, and especially at this level. You know, for a national team to, to be successful at this level, you need to be well organized. You need to be hard working. That's the, probably the two traits you need to have: be focused, discipline, hard work and then to use what you have uh, as a weapon yourself. In our case, our speed, our individual skills, how can we tactically build the game around that we can then use our, our strengths? So, yeah, I think in general that, that is something that every team needs to have, and then plus what you have as an extra, try to implement that in the tactics you're playing. Any other question? Thank you very much.